We now know where every single schematic for Modern Warfare Zombies as of Season 1 is located and that includes the brand new classified schematics and the additions that we have had to the Ether Crystals, Wonder Weapon Blueprints and lastly of course that Ether Wrench. Now I won't be going into the detailed guide as this is just a video to explain to you where to find these. I will be leaving links down in the description to guides that other content creators have made because these are quite challenging to unlock but if you're just wondering where to find each one of those schematics how to get them this video will tell you that and then you'll have different options down in the description to check out other videos on how to complete that but before you do that be sure to subscribe we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and a like would be very much appreciated as that does really help out the video spread to let other people know where these schematics are located and also last thing is if you ever do need people to finish these schematics get these schematics specifically with the brand new ones our discord server link is down in the description there's 3,500 or even more people down there right now looking for people to unlock these these rare schematics with. So first thing is first, where do you unlock the classified schematics? Well, if you complete the Dark Aether Act 4 mission, you unlock a diary. From here, you have to unlock three more items, including a dog collar, a camera, and lastly, pills. With all four of these items, which are actually really easy to unlock, you will be then able to go inside of the Dark Aether again, where you will have three bunnies, which will be giving you three different contracts, and inside of here, you will are very high to unlock an Elder Sigil. With this elder sigil you will be able to get into the dark ether again and i know i wasn't going to really tell you how to do this i'm not getting into extreme detail but from here you can go back into the dark ether which is like tier 4 tier 5 whatever you want to call it and here you will have three contracts once again but this time each one of those contracts will be rewarding you with number one the ether blade case the dog bone and lastly the golden armor plate so this is essentially easter egg rewards now moving on to the flawless ethereum crystal the legendary ether tool and and lastly the scorcher schematic all of those can be unlocked with a different side easter egg that you have to complete by collecting special usb sticks around the map and then you are able to go against a brand new ether worm called the gray lorm these names are actually you know perfect but from this you will be able to get all three of those schematics so no you are not able to get any of these inside of tier 2 tier 3 or tier 1 for some odd reason if you were ever considering it making these probably the most difficult schematics to unlock i dare say the gray lorm boss fight is probably the most difficult one from what i've heard as you have to wait until the ether storm fully closes in so that means you are playing an extremely risky game from being able to lock that schematic and also die into the ether storm itself. Oh, and also not to mention that you can just die to the boss fight overall. But now at the end, the last schematics, the ones that we've had in the game all along, and I've covered this multiple times in a video, here are the last schematics that are in the game that you can unlock inside of the tiers, which are challenging, but nothing compared to the ones that we got in season one. For tier one, we have brain rot, stamina up, dead shots, picola, napalm burst. For tier two, juggernaut, raw ether crystals, dead water, Fire, Shatter Blast and PhD Flopper. And for tier 3, you have Raygun Schematic, Epic Ether Tool, Refined Ether Crystal, Tombstone, and lastly, Elemental Pop. But there's even more, and that includes the missions excluding Act 4. So Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3 all give you also on top of this different schematics. And the ones that you get are in order Uncommon Ether Tool, Quick Revive, Cryo Freeze, Rare Ether Tool, Death Perception, and lastly, the Wunderwaffe Weapon Case. So those are all of the schematics that you can unlock inside of the game. I went from the brand new ones, the most difficult ones in my opinion, to the most easiest. So if you're wondering how to get those difficult ones, I will have guides linked down in the description and I will be definitely doing guides in the future, but personally I am a solo player. So what I'm trying to work through is guides for specifically solo gamers, but this one is looking really difficult to do on your own. So again, if you're looking for players to play with, Discord server link down in the description or the comment section of this video. Definitely be sure to pop in and be like, hey, does anyone want help? Does anyone Want, want to help me vice versa thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe sorry for this kind of different video i usually try to tell you how to get these but i think just updating you all on where these all are located i think will be the best thing to do as this game really really concentrates on schematics anyway enough yapping thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out